Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today's video, let's get into Bitcoin yet again, mainly because we're seeing some huge action happening, especially on the weekly chart. And I wanted to put this one out before it's too late. No, it's not anything really scary like that. It's just we need to be aware. So I'm going to zoom myself down into this little corner here. Hopefully I've got some good audio volume happening right there. And we're going to look at the Bitcoin chart without too much crap on it. You know, too many lines, too many indicators, just nice raw Bitcoin chart. The bottom is the volume. It's not really going to show too much there because uh, it's on the Bittrex chart. It just gives me a lot more information there. And really all I've got is a price range tool and that is just pulling from the high the previous all-time high to the current major low and i've just got the fibonacci numbers there you can see uh the 0.5 so that's the 50 percent uh, to the right there which is 11,500 and 450 but i'm just going to round these numbers up to make it nice and quick so that's the 50 percent of the major range down but what you can see from this is it has rallied so we could still call this a bear market rally until it breaks the all-time highs and then we could in hindsight say it was the bull run uh, you know the start of the bull run but for now we'll call this the bear market rally just so we've got some differentiation differentiations here from what i am trying to talk about so the bull market rally and you can see the top figure there the 0.618 so you know the fibonacci 61.8 percent fibonacci that is, these are the white lines, the long white lines. That's at 13,474, so call it 13,000 and a half. That's essentially what we have seen Bitcoin run to. You know, it ran to about just shy of 14,000 on Bittrex, 13,900 on other charts. It's, it's pretty much around that high 13,000s to potentially touching on 14,000. Point being is that we have rallied, bear market rally, that's what we're calling it at this stage, into the 61.8 and if you're using wd gan so gan analysis he usually uses this 0.625 so the 62 and a half percent it's basically the same thing you're only a, a you know fraction off each other so when this happens a rally up to the 61.8 percent and it doesn't break through it now this is a weekly chart so it's not uh, finalized yet you can just see in the top left it's got a w meaning weekly even though that even further top left says 1m that's just the charts for you that's what happens with some of these coinage things one w enter same same as you can see there nothing really changed when you get a bear market rally into the 61.8 percent that can be a early warning signal that we could see a break lower now this can follow on from Alessio's videos. You may have watched some of his stuff. Uh, he's also quite good on the technical analysis. Sometimes he gets it, sometimes he doesn't. He puts a case for both sides. Right now, this one isn't looking too good, especially with that huge doji candle. This is what you would see on the, the weekly here. This would be a doji candle, uh, the, the most recent one uh, in the trading, the technical analysis that I learned through WDGAN and uh, David Bowden, I'm not going to get into that. Probably most people won't know who that is. This was called a key reversal. And I think it's called a key reversal in many other types of technical analysis. Uh, people are going to get really touchy on that. You know, the close will have to be below the open and there's different strength indicators. But for now, for the ease of it, this is a key reversal bar that we are seeing here. The week hasn't finished, so it's very, no, there's no, there's no possibility that it will but it could close higher again and the key reversal will be gone and we'll, you know, we'll see strength again, which would be a nice thing for the bull market. But for now, this is a strong indicator that this isn't looking as sharp as it did 24 hours ago. What we do want to see, so after seeing this signal of the bear market rally, um, sort of you know, stopping out at the 61.8%, uh, what we do want to see is we want to see it hold above its 50% and at very worst 61.8%. So <clears throat> that's of the green lines now. So we want to see it hold above the halfway point of its rally. Not a 50% drop, but a 50% of the, the the range. So the low here is 3,159. So, you know, 3,160. That's that super bottom, uh, the low there in green. So where it says 1 and 3,159. We're running a retracement or a you know a price analysis tool from the bottom to the top of 
13,970, nice round number. 50%, as you can see, coming down these green dotted lines is 8,564. So you know, again, call it a nice round number. It just happens to be 8,500. Don't you love that coincidence when it comes to mathematics? There is no coincidences. It is all incidences coinciding. That's my, my nerdy uh, quote. Okay. Eight and a half thousand. We don't want to see it go below that, especially because it has been resistance in the very recent past where we got that uh, most recent intermediate top back three, four weeks ago. That was on, uh, let me move my drawings around. That one was back May 27th. That's what I've got here on my Coinergy chart. And then we had the next week down, which was the 3rd of June. That was the, the week that was the low. And that caused us to get a higher swing. So we definitely don't want to see it break this point, but at the very least, we don't want to see it go past the 61.8%, which is 7,300. That's the, And that also lines up with the lows. So that lines up with the low of the higher swing bottom on the weekly chart, and it's the 0.618%. And those two are lining up. That's a very good resistance point. When these things line up, we don't want to see them broken if our view is you know, to the long side. Those things break and they you know can't get above it quickly. Shows over, in my opinion, we head back down and we test these lows. Maybe we, we first test the five area, you know, where this little accumulation happened, then we test the four area, then we test the lows at the three. None of this has happened yet. Probabilities are still low because we haven't come back to test this. We haven't even finished the weekly bar, but that is on the cards now that we have seen the potential top in. This could all wrap around, you know, it's Thursday evening here in Europe. And, you know, the, the, the close could just burst straight through that 14,000 and, you know, this video is irrelevant by that stage, but it's something to consider and just to know those points in in advance. 8,500, then 7,300. So that is my call for now. If we go below the 8,500, let's get ready for potential uh, war times. And if it goes below 7,300, I would be saying we are going way back to test five and then four two, four thousand two hundred. That is, if we saw that, this could be a very long extended bear market again. You know, it'd be a failed weekly swing top on a macro, very macro scale here because it's basically a monthly, and then it would just probably pitter out and take its time to accumulate again. It's all possible. That could be where we end up a few years from now. I don't know. It's something to keep in mind. Thought I would share it because that is the way I am looking. What I would do with my trading at that point, if those broke, it would pain me, but I would have to sell some as that 7,300 area broke. This is what it says. That's what the plan says. These strong areas broke, break, then we've got to sell some. Ideally, you've got to sell all of it, but you know when these things happen, it's it's a very uh, challenging endeavor to intake, intake. Very challenging to do in, in actual uh, practice. So the area to watch out for, 8,500, 7,300. I hope you guys are watching these very closely or set some alerts in these areas. Let's hope we see the end of the week, burst through the top again, take on 14,000, then all the way up to these lower highs from the previous high at, uh, it was around 17,000 at that time. Yep, around there. Boom, 17. But until then, let's hold steady, keep tracking the markets and looking at some of those alt potentials if this thing holds through. So thanks again for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to share it around, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Join me on Facebook on uh, Optimize Your Wealth. Link is in the description. It's a free group. You just need to fill out the questions so I know that you are keen on optimizing your wealth. Links are down below. See you on Instagram as well. I'll catch you at the next video. So until then, remember to take care and have more fun to get more done. Peace out.